Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn about derived parts. Let's start by creating a new part document. I'll close this sketch. And let's delete it. Right click, delete. Once again, the reason we did see a sketch created automatically, under Tools, Application Options, on the Part tab, under Sketch on New Part Creation, we've got a plane selected. In my case, it was XY. Now let's go to the Manage tab, activate the Derive command located on the Insert panel, and let's select my plate, click Open. The Derived Part dialog window opens. Under Derived Style, we've got three options. Single solid body merging out seams between planar faces. The second option is solid body keep seams between planar faces. And the third option, maintain each solid as a solid body. This last option, spaced out a little more, lets us export the body as a surface body, body as work surface. Now down below, we can include bodies or exclude them. Currently in this tree, solid bodies are available, as well as model parameters. Down below, we can check here to show all objects. We can use color override from the source component. And we can specify a design view. There's a scale factor option as well. For example, for let's say shrinking during the molding process. And we can check here to use a mirror part. If this option is selected, you'll need to set the mirror plane as well. And let's click OK. Here we have our solid body. Let's start by changing the color, say to gold, for example. Properties, and select it from this menu. Now let's go to the 3D Model tab and apply a fillet. Apply, cancel. As you see, we are able to edit the geometry. Let's see how we can import a sketch now. Let's right click on Sketch 2 and select Share Sketch. Now let's return to our derived part. Mm -hmm. 